It may be that the Curragh's ancestor is an inland craft developed for use on rivers. On the River Boyne in 1935, Frank Stevens shot an extraordinary sequence which reveals the secret of this craft. Coracle is the last link in a chain of tradition stretching back to the time of Newgrange, the early Bronze Age, almost 7,000 years ago. Like the Coracle, the Coracle is no more than skin stretched over a light but tough and resilient frame. The Coracle's frame of willow or hazel can be assembled incredibly quickly. You wouldn't say that of Newgrange, yet which was the more ingenious accomplishment? The great stone temple or the frame and skin vessel? which will support a man's life upon the waters. A single oxide is used to cover the boyne coracles. Roman and early Irish sources tell us that up to 30 hides were used in the building of the great sea-going currucks of the type in which legend tells us St. Brendan the Navigator is reputed to have crossed the broad Atlantic and St. Columba sailed to Iona. The coracle is not unique to the Boyne. Until early in the last century, salmon and trout were fished from the Ban and the Blackwater in similar craft in the ancient but sufficient way. <laughs> 